let's talk about some of the new features on Instagram that you may not have known existed, like a new way to make money through subscriptions, what happens when you shake your phone, and a new real function that not all users have access to yet. What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I literally wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of your support. So if you want a shout out on one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And of course, thank you to this video's sponsor, CapCut. If you're looking for a good video editing app for your reels, the one that I've been using all year is called CapCut. I have an entire tutorial showing how I use and edit my videos on CapCut, so I'll be sure to link that right here. When I was first introduced to CapCut, I was mind blown because I feel like every video editing app you either have to pay for or they have watermarks on their videos when you save them. So far, CapCut is the only video editing app I've found where all of the features are available to you without having to pay. Plus, it's available on both iPhone and Android, so it's a huge win-win for everybody. CapCut is a free all-in-one video editing app that is really easy to use so that anyone using it can create incredible videos. If you're interested in trying them out the next time you edit a reel or a TikTok video, I'll be- As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here, so let's get into it. First and foremost, if you haven't heard yet, Chronological feed is coming back. You heard me. I didn't stutter. Kind of stuttered, but I re-recorded it so you didn't know I stuttered. I've already talked about this new feature in a few other videos, but this year we are getting access to multiple feed options. You'll be able to choose between three views, a home view, a favorites view, and a following view. Home view will be basically like what you have today. Favorites will be a list of all accounts that you've selected as your favorites so that you aren't missing their posts. And following view will be chronological list of posts from people that you're following. There is no exact ETA of when this feature will be available, but it has officially been announced by Instagram so we know it's legit. Next feature we have is called Raid Shake. This feature helps you report a bug to Instagram directly and as soon as it happens. I tend to do this most often when I'm making reels because I feel like that's where most of the bugs are. But basically if something is acting weird all you have to do is like shake your phone, shake weight action, <laughs> and this option will appear on your phone screen. You can send your issue over to Instagram and that way it's easier for them to prioritize their bugs. As of when they announced this, Rage Shake is available to US only to start. Lady, stop walking around. Next feature is you can delete one image in a carousel after it's posted. This is one I'm really excited about because I use a lot of carousels on my Instagram feed. So if you want to just delete one image from that carousel, all you have to do let me scoot over so you can see the screen recording. You just go to the three dots, select edit, and in the top left corner, there is now a little trash icon that you can use to delete images. I know there are a few hacks using this feature where you can delete images and then re-add them to reorganize or reorder the order of your carousel post, but I'm just waiting for the feature where you can literally just click and drag to reorder them around because that'd be so much easier. Next, back in the day, spam accounts would literally comment DM to collab on every post. Maybe that's still happening. I wouldn't know because I figured out a way how to block those comments. Nowadays though, I've been getting a ton of spam comments saying send pic to blah blah blah. These give me the same DM to collab vibes and I don't want them here. So here I'll pop up a screen recording for what you can do to block both types of comments, the DM to collab comments and the send pic to comments. You're able to block specific words or phrases from your comment section and you could use DM and send pic as phrases to block and now you'll stop getting those comments. The take a break feature. The take a break feature reminds users to take a break after spending a certain amount of time on the app. To turn this feature on, let me go to this side now. Yeah, change it up on ya. Now it's gonna pop up over here. To turn this feature on, go to the three lines in the top right corner of your profile, select your activity, set reminder to take breaks, and choose your time limit. Right now, this feature is only available to users in the US, Canada, and Australia. Voice to text. I'm stoked about this one. Instagram Reels is becoming more and more like TikTok every day. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm here for it. Now you can turn the text on your reel to an automated voice. You have two voice options. Let's hear what they sound like, shall we? Did you know you can do text to speech with reels now? Did you know you can do text to speech with reels now? Both options are terrifying sounding, but you have no choice, so it's kind of a lose-lose, but it's fine. I really like this a lot because now I don't have to do as many voiceover type videos. I could just turn the text to voice just like that. 
To turn on text to voice, it's really simple. As you're adding your text in a reel, select the text that you want to turn to that voice option, press the three dots, voice to text, select the voice option, boom shakalaka, you have your voiceover. Now all Instagram has to do is steal the ability to stitch a video and basically the same as TikTok. Same, same, but different. Two-factor authentication. I feel like most people already know about this, but I've noticed more and more a lot of people have been losing their accounts to hackers lately, and I want to make sure none of you do. So turning on two-factor authentication helps add that extra layer of protection in case someone tries to log into your account and steal it. So turn on two-factor authentication, stay safe, wear protect, use protection. There you go. Scheduling a live. Scheduling a live adds a badge to your profile so that anyone who comes to your profile can see when you're going live. Then they can subscribe to that live and set a reminder so that they know when you're going live. How many times am I gonna say live? <laughs> From what Adam Masseri has said, Instagram is always looking for ways to increase the functionalities of scheduling types of content, whether it's scheduling posts, scheduling lives, hopefully scheduling reels, please Jesus. So I think this is a great step in the right direction, especially for creators. Having that badge on your profile can increase the amount of attendees or the amount of views for that specific live, ultimately increasing income because we also have that badges feature where during your lives, you can make income with your subscribers or the viewers sending you badges similar to TikTok sending gifts and yeah hopefully this overall increases creators income down the line speaking of income let's talk about subscriptions say goodbye to patreon <laughs> With subscriptions, creators will be able to set a monthly price of their choice on their account and offer special perks to their subscribers. While this feature will only be available to a limited number of US creators during the initial test, they have plans to expand access to more and more creators over the next few months. This year, one of Instagram's focus is focusing on creators so that creators can start making a full-time living off of Instagram and subscriptions is just one way to do that. I know right now a lot of creators have current memberships that they're hosting through Patreon or other websites of that sort. So to have everything in one place can make it really easy for creators to start making a full-time living with Instagram itself with all of the different ways you can make money on Instagram. Like you have now subscription, we talked about badges, we have reels ads, IGTV ads, or Instagram video ads, creator bonuses, all of the things. With so many different income stream options in one account, I can see those different streams quickly adding up so that creators can can really start making a full-time living off of Instagram. Just from me casually posting reels without trying to make an income off of their bonus, I'm getting like $200 a month just from casually posting reels. So I think this is really great what Instagram is doing and a great direction they are going towards. Reels updates. I can't lift my arms because of my shirt. <laughs> Rearranging clips. Now this feature literally comes and goes in my account. Some days I have it there and some days I don't. So I don't know who has access to it. I feel like maybe my account is in some weird beta testing limbo. <laughs> I do have an entire Reels tutorial here if you're looking for more of a step-by-step -step Reels walkthrough for how you can get started with Reels because you're not too late. But with rearranging the clips, this makes it a lot easier to edit Reels in app. If you have access to this feature, this is what your account will look like. And to rearrange clips, all you have to do is simply click and hold and drag the videos to their proper order. Now, all of these changes are changes as of February 12th, 2022. And I plan to make quarter videos like this to help all of you stay up to date with any future updates that Instagram has. When it comes to what to expect more of in 2022, I think we can see continued growth with Reels and the ability to edit Reels in app. Fingers crossed less bugs here because I prefer to edit <laughs> on CapCut, to be honest. Anytime I'm editing in the app, I'm like, oh, why do you keep force closing? So as of right now, I'm editing in CapCut, but hopefully they make it easier to edit in app. Also based off of a video that Adam Masseri posted on his Instagram, they're also prioritizing messaging because if you think about it, messaging is what makes Instagram completely unique from other social media platforms. There is not any other social media platform where you can message your favorite creators directly. I mean, TikTok, but I think you have to be following them and they have to be following you in order for you to message them. So Instagram is really the only place where you can genuinely connect to somebody on a one-on-one -on -one personal level. And then finally, they're also going to be focusing on continuing ways for creators to make a full-time living on Instagram. I'd love to know out of all of these updates, which one had your mind blown or which one are you most excited about? What changes do you wish Instagram would make? Let me know down in the comments below. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.